Hi everyone, it's me Lisa from Lisa Knits and Vlogs. Well, it's day one of Lisa's Knit Race. And I am doing a new pattern that I was watching from Ginny's Craft Room. If you don't know who Ginny is, I'm going to put her channel name in my description box. Please go over and, and, and become a family member with her. And she needs watch hours and family members. She came up with this pattern that she had in her pile in knitting and it's called the Eyelet Mock Cable. I never heard of it. Ginny had asked me, I never heard of it. But she had the pattern and I copied it down. But then I went and Googled the same pattern that she had had. But I came up with, got one called the Eyelet Mock Cable ribbing stitch the stitches repeat a multiples five by two so what i did was i cast on multiples of five plus two so i cast on five stitches uh, uh 30 stitches plus two so i had 32 stitches so the first row is the right side i purl two and then i slip one purl wise and then I knit two, I passed the stitch over. The one that I slipped, I passed over, I purled two. Then I repeat from the asterisk to the end. So I repeat from here to here. Row two, I knit two, purl one, yarn the yarn over, purl one, knit two. Then I repeat from the asterisk to the end. So from here to here is what I'm repeating. Row three is purl two then I with the asterisk I had knit two purl two repeat from the asterisk to the end so from here to here I repeat row four I knit three at uh, knit two and then the asterisk I purl three knit two repeat from the asterisk to the end so I do the asterisk to the end I repeat rows one to four until you have have reached your desired length so I do that until I, I do all all the way. It's at first I thought, oh okay. When Ginny was showing me, I thought, oh okay, that sounds interesting. So this is how it has turned out. This is the right side. And then you'll see see the pattern. So I've cast on 30, 30 stitches plus the 2, that's 5 plus 2, so there's 30 stitches plus the 2. And then I, um, I purled 2, I slipped 1 purl wise, then I need to pass the stitch over. And I do that all the way up. I repeat rows 1 through 4 all the way up. That's the right side. And there's the back. Mine's not as wide as what Ginny's is at the moment, but I will do this again, but I might do it with 40 stitches next time around instead of 30. So I'll do 42 instead of 30. But this is what the back looks like. And the eyelet, see, is right in here. This is what they call the eyelet, is here. And I think what a pretty pattern. I'm so grateful Ginny had come up and made some videos about it. So I'm so happy that she's done it to show me what to do. And now I know what I'm doing. So I'm going to do her one as well. Plus I'll do some more of this one. So, so far it has taken me... So far it's taken me a, a day to get to there. Because there's my stitch marker. And stitch markers are your best friends. So I'm putting the stitch marker there so you know exactly how long it's taken me. Now I've got to do this to my desired length. So I've got a fair way to go yet. So I better get moving. So I can give you guys more videos. Now the yarn that I'm using is the Four Seasons Marvel 8 Ply. 100% acrylic, 100 grams. It is red. If I turn it this way, you'll get it is red. And it is made for Spotlight PTY LTD 
www.spotlightstores.com. Now, the care instructions are cool hand wash, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, dry flat in the shade, low iron, dry cleanable. There's 270 meters per ball, 4 millimeter kneading needles, 4.5 and a 5. I am using a 4.5. Your crocheting hooks can be the same as well, but just be careful of your tension. My knitting tension is 22 stitches by 30 rows, 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters square. That is what I am using at the moment. So then what I will do is I'll show you a little bit to what I'm doing and I'm up to doing row one which is the right side for me and then that way you could see what I'm doing. Now I purl the first two stitches and then I slip this stitch and then I knit the next two stitches. And then that stitch that I slipped, I pass over. And then I purl again. The next two stitches, I slip that one off purl wise. Then I knit two. And then I slip that stitch over. And then I purl. I do that to all the way to the end. And then I do the next row, which I will show you once I get to doing it. Which is a very, it is a very, very pretty, hang on, I need that one when I should have slipped that one. This is a very pretty, pretty pattern. I like the way it's turning out. So I think I will be doing this one more often. Hang on, I made a mistake somewhere along the way. Guys, hang on. Yeah, now knit that one, knit that one. Let me go back because you've got to be careful on your stitches. That's what I was supposed to. Now, I pull these two, slip this one, knit the next two. I pass that stitch over and then I purl the next two. Slip that stitch purlwise and then I knit. Knit two, slip that stitch over and then I purl the next two. Slip that stitch, knit the next two. Pass that stitch over and then I purl the next two. Now, row two. So row two, I knit two, purl one, I yarn the yarn over, purl one. Knit two, purl one, yarn over, Pearl one, knit two. Pearl one, yarn over, pearl one, knit two. Pearl one, yarn over, pearl one. Then I knit the two, pearl one. Yarn over, purl one, knit one, two. Purl one, yarn over, purl one, then I knit two. 
and then I do rows two and three but I will do that later I just wanted to show you that to what I was doing and I do hope you get the chance to like and comment and I will see you on the YouTube streets bye